Welcome back to the Russian Woodworker, Anthony here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this homemade soup can forge using all readily available items that you can pretty much find at any local hardware store. I probably spent about $10 to $15 on this forge, and it works like a forge that you could buy for probably $150 to $200. If you want to know how I made this, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So the first thing that I ended up having to do was making L brackets in order to hold the can up in the air since I didn't have any L brackets. But if you do have uh, any kind of L bracket I would just recommend, you recommend using that because that would probably cut the time that you spend on this project in half. And after I cut everything out and the things that I cut out were the pieces of metal for the L brackets and also the pipe that I can use to actually hold the propane torch and keep the forge burning. And so what I'm doing here is just deburring all the metal pieces that I just cut. If you already have L brackets, your project will just start here. All that you're going to need to do is drill two small holes in the side in order to fill bolts through that can fit through the can and through the L brackets and then just be bolted on with a nut as I show here in a little bit, like that. If you already have L brackets, this is where you'll actually start the project. Now the next thing that I had to do was is that I had to drill a hole in the side to fit the pipe that will actually feed the propane into it. And what I did was I just used a drill bit and then I widened the hole using a rat tail file. And now as you can see the pipe fits in really well. So the lining for the forge is a 50-50 mix of plaster of Paris and play sand. And this stuff, you just need to add as much water to it as possible before it, until it becomes like a runny dough, doughy consistency. And then you just pour it into the bottom of your soup can. Just as a tip, if I were you making this, and I didn't do this, but I will totally do this the next time that I make a soup can forge, is I would use some of this chicken wire in order to reinforce all of the areas that will have the refractory cement in it, or else it'll crack and just fall out. So for the next step, all that I did was put a can in the middle, and then pour all the refractory cement around that, but do not do this because the can ended up getting stuck in the middle of the refractory cement so I had to tear it all up. As you can see right here, it ended up getting all torn up, so don't do this. And then I had to patch all this stuff up later with, my, with, the, with more refractory cement. So if I were you, I'd just paste this on with your hands. And right now, this is the forge with its first run. And as you can see, it isn't glowing red hot because all the refractory cement still needs to dry. Here it is after all the cement has already dried. And as you can see, it's heating up really well, and it can heat up the steel pipe in a matter of 20 seconds. And then right here, I tested it out with a piece of glass, and it also melted it, well, heated up, heated it up really, really well, and it became a gummy consistency. So hopefully you can use this forge for your own doings, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. So please like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.